In our last Nickel Hunt and Album Field episode, we found another V-Nickel, a Buffalo Nickel, and a Silver Nickel. I'm hoping that episode number 123 and boxes 109 and 110 can give me the trifecta once again or that pesky 50D. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fines Treasure and welcome back to my channel. We have another two box nickel hunt in our quest to find the 50D, a buffalo nickel, silver nickels, or maybe if we're lucky enough, another V nickel. Now, if you've been following along on the series, it took us 167 boxes worth of hunts to complete the first Jefferson Nickel album that we had, the Series 1 book. We're trying to best that for the Series 2 book, and we've got to do so in the next 58 boxes. Otherwise, we're going to be behind the pace. We need the 50D in this book. We need five nickels in the side finds book, and these boxes are circulated. I can tell from the holes in the bottom, so wish me luck in our hunt. Now, I'll give you guys a look at the books at the end when we compare the finds to see if we have upgrades or additions. But for now, we're going to get right to the hunt. Let me go ahead and crack open this first box. Already kind of damaged in transit, but still a sealed box. All right, we definitely have a circulated nickel box. We do have some older Jefferson designs, but nothing screaming war nickel or buffalo nickel that I can see. You guys know the drill. As soon as I have a find, I'll bring it back in, and fingers crossed... This is the hunt we've been waiting for. Our first find of the hunt is going to come in rule three of the first box, and it's going to be a 1947 Jefferson nickel. And this one was minted in Philadelphia. We'll add it to the board and get on with the hunt. Roll number 15 is going to give us our second nickel from the 40s. Unfortunately, it's just another 1947 again. But this time it's from Denver. I'll point out, though, we found some in the 50s as well. Roll number 17. Our oldest Jefferson yet, a 1940 Philadelphia. Roll number 20, another 1940 Jefferson nickel from Philly again. Roll number 28, our first nickel from 1949, minted in Philadelphia. Roll number 31 is going to give us our first nickel from 1941, and this one was minted in Philadelphia. Roll number 34 of the box, and we have a 1939 Jefferson nickel here. This is going to be the oldest find, and it does have some circulation wear. Probably not a key date, but let's see if it has a mint mark. And it doesn't. It's going to be a 39 Philadelphia, but we can double check it for that valuable DDR, which I don't see. Definitely a Philadelphia, and I will weigh it up to see if it's a Henning nickel, but it doesn't have the notch. That's a nice find. Let's find more. Same roll as the 39 nickel, and now we have a 1948 Philadelphia. We're on roll number 37, and I just opened the roll and flattened it out, and look what popped out in the back. I see a buffalo nickel. I don't see a mint mark on it. So it's definitely going to be a Philadelphia, and it has decent detail. Not a lot of the horn left, but still a nice nickel. Should have a date, I believe. And it does. 1937 Philadelphia Buffalo Nickel. We will take that. Always fun seeing these. They don't fetch a lot of value in circulated condition. Probably 50 cents to up, up to a buck. But this is a common year, and it does have wear. But either way, still a fun find. One of my favorite things to find during a nickel hunt. Hopefully there's more in the box. Roll number 38 is going to give us our third Jefferson nickel from 1947. And that's going to be another of 1947 Philadelphia. Roll number 39 could just be discolored, but it definitely has that war nickel look. Figured we'd take a look together and see if it's a silver nickel. And it is. I see the Philadelphia mint mark on the reverse. And it's in pretty nice shape overall. A Philadelphia minted, probably 1943. I see those a lot. No. That's going to be a 1945 Philadelphia in really nice shape. Could be an upgrader. We'll add it to the board and get back to the hunt. And all we need now is another V nickel for the trifecta. Roll number 42 is going to give us a discolored 1941 nickel from Philadelphia. Roll number 43, and we have our first foreign find of the box. 
It's going to be a 20 cent piece from Singapore. 2006, 20 cent piece. Singapore, we will definitely take that one and add it to the board. Roll number 46, and I just started to pull the coins out of the wrapper, and as I peeled back the edge, that could be a second silver coin right here. And it is 1943 Philadelphia. Let's see if it has any over date, three over two, which is not there. Any doubled I? I don't see it. Either way, a pretty nice war nickel again, and that's two war nickels in this box to go along with a buffalo nickel. We have finished that first box of nickels and it was actually a really good box. 26 finds on the board, the best finds. Of course, we found that Singapore 20 cent piece, the 1939P, the 37P Buffalo. Both war nickels are Philadelphia minted 45 and 43. And on top of that, we even found a couple of 1959 Philadelphias in great shape. Those are our lower mintage. A lot of good finds on the board as far as different years and mints. No 50D yet, and no semi-key dates or key dates. Box one is done. Let me clear it away. We'll do a live opening on box two in just a second. All right, we're ready to get into box number two. Hopefully it doesn't give me fits opening it. We'll see if we have any good enders in this one. Looks like it's going to give me a little bit of fits. Let me cut that and be right back. All right, we've cut it away. Let's take a quick peek in here. Definitely looks like an older Jefferson nickel right here and right here, but I don't see any fancy schmancy enders. Let's get into the hunt. 26 finds on the board. Can we get to 50? I'll be back with my first find in box number two. Roll number five of box number two is going to kick us off like the last box with a 1947 nickel, but this time 1947 San Francisco. Slightly lower mint, but not in great shape. Well, we're on roll number nine of box number two, and I missed it by the edge because it was the second coin in, and that's another 1945 Silver War nickel. I don't know how I missed that one. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, it doesn't really have all the green it normally has for me to see it, but either way, 1945 Philadelphia. We'll take that. That's our third Silver War nickel through 59 rolls. Roll 66 of the 100 roll hunt. And we've got another nickel from 1948. That's going to be a 48 Denver. Roll number 70. Another nickel from 1947. 47 Philadelphia. Roll number 76 of the hunt is going to give us our second foreign nickel. But this time it's a Canadian nickel from 1985. We're on roll number 85, and it's been a bit since I filmed a find in the 40s, which I do have, but I want to bring you guys in. We have found another 59P lower mint. Take a look at this 1956 Denver nickel we found. Absolutely stunning. Could be an upgrade. And we also recently found a 1952 San Francisco with a lower mintage. So we've had some finds. That being said, I bring in because we do have a 1948 nickel pretty chewed up from Philadelphia. Roll 99 of the 100 roll hunt, so we're just about done. We have found another 1947 nickel from Philadelphia. Running out of time, so I don't think we're going to get the 50D today, unless there's a miracle. Let's finish up the hunt, and I'll be back with a recap in just a second. Well, we finished that second box of this two-box nickel hunt, and as you guys have seen from the video so far, definitely no 1950 Denver, so the quest for that continues. But definitely a good two-box hunt. 47 total finds are on the board. I've got the common stuff up top, and I figured I'd recap the best finds of the two boxes with you guys now. We got the Singapore piece. We got the Canadian nickel. We got a 1939P. Then we got a couple of misaligned die strikes. Just slightly off on this one. None of these are that great, but I just wanted to share them with you. And they're misaligned dies because the obverse of the coin is off, but the reverse is fine. This is in decent shape. But again, only a few degrees off or a few percentage points off, so not a big deal there. We got a 1952S, slightly better date, and three 1959 Philadelphias, slightly better dates. We got that really nice 1956 Denver and the 37 Philadelphia Buffalo, and then three silver nickels for the silver jar. 
1943 Philly, a 1945 Philly, and the nicest was this second 1945 Philly, the first war nickel that we found. I don't think we have any additions, but maybe an upgrade or two. Let me go ahead and bring out the books, compare the finds, and bring you guys back in for a final look at the books and some final thoughts on the hunt in just a moment. All right, we have compared the finds to both albums, and I'm pleased to announce we actually were able to upgrade the 45P War Nickel in the second series book with that one we found today. So definitely had an upgrade there. And for the series three, even though no additions, we did upgrade the 56P and the 56D. We found a pretty nice 56P. It is discolored, but it has great detail. And that's the 56D we found today. So no additions for either book, but upgrades were found. 110 boxes, still missing the 50D for series two. 45 boxes hunted, still missing the five better date nickels for series three. On top of that, we have three silver nickels to add to the 2023 silver jar, the first three of the year. If you guys enjoyed this two box hunt, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. We now have three silver nickels for the 2023 silver jar.